here at the Commercial Vehicle Show in Birmingham for 2023 and we're going to have a look around the stands to see what's in the electric vehicle space as always so stay tuned and if you're interested in a certain vehicle or model link in the description but also in the chapters underneath so let's start off with the Ford stand here on the Ford stand and we have a couple of old favorites we've got the e-transit that we've had in the channel I'll put a link in the description then there's also new e-transit custom and you can see it here was well, shown in beautiful blue it's got that crew cab on this one and this was shown in Hanover you can see the grill out there and so we have a full review of this in the channel once we get the, the press launch and then we also have the new e-transit courier and you can see that here it's got a 25% bigger payload, a couple of different ranges. So we've got Trend, if you want to hold it there, front fog lamps, um, LEDs, 50 litre frunk, 16 inch steel wheels, square steering wheel, etc, etc. And then we also have the Limited with this 17 inch alloy. So that's what this one is, the Limited with the 17 inch. Beautiful colour, space. It's got that new steering wheel, actually, the square steering wheel that folds flat. Um, 25% extra capacity, it has the ability of two Euro pallets, uh, 100 kilowatt motor and the ability to take up to 100 kilowatt on DC, so good to see it in the flesh and as always great to see it on the Ford stand. So that is the three electric Fords that we have in their different variations here on the lease plan stand and you can see they have some electric, this is the Vauxhall e Berlingo, I think it is. Uh, and then we have the Buzz. A lot, I see it's wrapped up here. It's the gold underneath, or the yellow. Citrus the yellow. That's got the branding on it as well. So, Lease Plans partner of Nevo.ie. So, it's great to see it. It's got plenty of space on the inside there. And that's the ID Buzz Cargo. Great to see it, and Lease Plan are always big advocates of electric vehicles here at the CV Show 2023. One we don't normally get, and it is the Axis Zero truck from um, Axis Hire here in the United Kingdom. The first fully electric, based on the Master ZE, and it's got a tilt and uh, elevator platform. Doesn't have any stabilizers because of the um, center of mass with the batteries actually a cage it's a single person cage on the top and it's 120 kg uh, capacity but it's great to have this option axis zero is what they're calling it really good something different at the show moving on then we have some uh, heavy good vehicles so we have the mercedes-benz e-actros tractor or uh, chassis unit saw this at the Hanover show uh, IAA we've got the Volta Zero 100% electric great to see it that's got the single driver uh, in the middle and then the two passengers either side what else have we got in the HGV side so this we've got some I presume that's a hydrogen and then we've got the uh, Nikola. So this is on the Aveco stand because they're partnered with Aveco. But this is the TRE BEV, and you can see all the electric battery modules there in the back. Here on the Beyond stand at the Commercial Vehicle Show, new brand coming in. So this is the Giga. Um, and so you can see what they're calling this platform two-seater this is German you can see very good and it's got the box body on the back then as well then you've got the regular Eon with the tipper body on the back very handy have with the chassis off with the box body without the painting on it that 
Beyond launched here at the Commercial Vehicle Show. Here on the Aveco stand at the Commercial Vehicle Show and we have the E-Daily. We saw this at Hanover IAA. So this is it with the chassis unit. You can see exactly what's in underneath. We'll have a full review on the channel. This is it also then with that uh, box body. But there's a trail, there's solar roof on top of this one, which is interesting. So you can have the gross vehicle weight up to 7.2 tons. Onboard power up to 15 kilowatt. Eight year, 155 miles, and then four year connectivity as, CIS, as standard. So that is the box body, that is the chassis cab. And then over on the far side, we've got the regular van version. It's on the Nicola stand that we've here. So we have just a regular E daily. You've got the front charging port. Some stats it is 74 kilowatt with 70 usable, e power is 140 kilowatt, peak torque 400 newton meters, 22 kilowatt AC, and DC of 80 kilowatt. Very good. Oh, it's got towing and an electric JCB. So, very good. So this has the van as a 3.5 ton towing capability with a 248 mile range, three modular batteries, and then that connectivity. Looking forward to testing out more of the Aveco E-Daily. Here at the Nissan stand, and we have the all-electric Townster. Uh, in partnership with the likes of the Renault Kangoo, you have front charging port at the front with that shield design like we see in the area. You have... Really nice fit and finish inside in it. You've got your storage up here, you've got your screen. A bit dark in here now to show you all of this, but you've got your Yeah, nice. We'll have a we've got up storage as well on top. This one has dual sliding doors, which is great. And then it's 50-50 way uh, doors at the back as well. That is the Nissan Townster. I don't have, oh here we go, um, we have 90 kilowatt hour, sorry 90 kilowatt engine, electric motor and uh, onboard 11 or 22 and 80 kilowatt DC fast charging and it is, it doesn't give me a battery size 45 kilowatt hour usable battery so that is the Nissan Townstar on the uh, Commercial Vehicle Show 2023 here in Birmingham. I can't always be modern and I'm loving the 2CV commercial, the E5 here at the Commercial Vehicle Show. There is no Sam um, airbag on that steering wheel. Two-seater electric motor, very cool. Two kilowatt, two battery options, a 10 kilowatt hour and a 20 kilowatt hour. Um, it's a brushless synchronous air-cooled AC, 15 kilowatt, but 120 newton meters of torque and available in 2023. Beautiful, something totally different. Very, very nice. And then we have the OHM or Ohm brand, two-seater electric vans chassis and cab and you can put whatever box body you want on the back saw these in hanover actually so it was good to see them was uh, being brought into the uk and ireland by a maltese company um, you can see what it looks like here and so this is the ohm or ohm 35 3.5 tons very good Got your screen. Yeah. Looking forward to doing something a bit more in depth on the channel with these brands. So today is just a walk around, as you know. Here we have one of the biggest electric vehicle displays, as always, at the commercial vehicle show is the Maxxis stand. We've got some e deliver nines in a couple of different bodies. We've got the tipper body with the cage in the back. And deliver nine. Just the different variations. Maxes are great for showing people. Uh, then the regular E Deliver 9, E Deliver 9 minibus. Great to see it. 
uh, full review on the channel of her, the E-Deliver 9. Then we've got some E-Deliver 3s with that cooler body in the back. E-Deliver 3 again. That's the standard one. And we've got the E-Deliver 7 launch here this morning in about 50 minutes. So looking forward to that. As well to cross on the actual crossing. Then we've got the uh, MIFA 9, which is a full review coming to my channel. Uh, I've already had it on with the launch last year. Then we've got the uh, Maxxis T90 EV. And then we have some more MIFAs, just different colors. This is the white, the gray, and then another Maxxis T90 EV in white. And also in the metallic orange. So that's the Maxxis stand at Commercial Vehicle Show 2023 here with Mark Barrett, the Managing Director of Harris Maxis, and big day again, as always, at the CV show. Yes, it's, uh, it's what, our seventh year with, with, with LDB Maxis, wow. and with lockdown, I think it's our fifth show. And the last three have been all electric? All electric, the last yeah. three. So we wanted to showcase, listen, we have a full range of products that's electric only, uh, to demonstrate that all future products coming from Max's new platforms Excellent. will be EV and EV only. Perfect. And uh, two years ago, you hinted the MIFA 9, and last year we had MIFA 9 with the T90 EV. This year on this podium, you announced E Deliver 7. Yes. And, uh, probably the most exciting van I've seen in this. It's a very busy space that size. It is. Um, and we're looking forward. I mean, for, from we launched E Deliver 3 to E Deliver 9. And you know you're not going to satisfy every customer's requirements, and the amount of inquiries we had for you know I need something in between. Yeah. Um, and you know tradespeople need a, a van for both work and for for recreational. Yes. And um, E Deliver Seven hopefully will fill that void. A couple of different lengths, couple of different heights, couple of different batteries. So again, yeah. you're doing a great range of pardon the pun of variations. Yes. So the vehicle we have on display is uh, L2 H1. So we'll also have that with a high roof, L1 H2, and we'll have an L1 H1, so a shorter wheelbase in the right. same roof configuration. Nice. And then two battery sizes? 77 and 88. Excellent. And uh, range, range end of up to 226 miles on... In kilometres then, what's the conversion uh, like? Kilometers, it, it, <laughs> I it, put it on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 360? 370 something. I'll put it on the bottom of the yeah, screen. Yeah, we, we, we can work on it afterwards. Uh, and prices are going to be in the summertime? Prices will be in July Very and good. also um, production will start in August. Oh, excellent. So we're looking at um, product on the ground before, as again last year, before Santa comes. Yeah, very good. Um, a lot of people are interested in the fact that it's coming in this size and a lot of people are interested in the fact that you've got the full range now of small, medium and large van, I suppose is what you call yes. them, copying the traditional and but that's what the market is looking for yes. as well. Um, at CV Show, Mark, you have a history of last minute with regards to getting the vehicle here. Last week, last year it was coming from Italy. Okay, so last year we had what we called the Italian job. Very good. Um, with lockdown in Shanghai, our vehicle uh, that was for the CV show was stuck at the factory in Shanghai, um, weren't allowed in or out mm. to collect it. Um, thankfully, our friends and fellow distributors in Italy said they'd borrow their white Jeep uh, pickup for the CV show. Yes. Um, it was only available after a certain date. So we had literally lastminute.com deploy the team for the Italian job. Drive drove over, it over. Drove it over through the night uh, and transporter to get it in here hours before the close. You'd only seen it on that day, that white one it, on the yeah. morning. Now, this one you've seen a bit earlier, saw it on Sunday evening. I saw it Sunday evening. Um, again, this year, speaking of the China, it said actually, no, we're going to produce a right-hand drive here for mm -hmm. the CV show. Um, it was going to be ready in time. And again, it was coming down to the wire, getting the vehicle out of Shanghai. Uh, thankfully, nothing was closed in regards to factory and stuff. And then we had to end up getting the vehicle in by train. Like all the way, all the way into Whoa. Germany, and the Italian team left and went to Germany. <laughs> the German team. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we got the vehicle back in here on to Liverpool on Friday night. Wow! And uh, obviously, because of window opportunity for, for here on the Saturday to get yes. the product in. After that, the doors closed. Okay. So yeah, it was down to the wire. Yeah. So last week was kind of going. 
okay, will we have something to unveil or not? Uh, let's be positive. Brilliant. It's beautiful looking, aesthetically very pleasing. Yeah. Something different on the road, very aero, very reminds me of nothing else in the market, really. Yeah, I mean, the interior of the vehicle, um, you can see the DNA from, from a bit of MIFA and with the infotainment system, mm. you can see the like the, the Deliver 9 yes. DNA in it as well. Very good. And, um, no, it's, it's, it's a cracking looking vehicle. You know, we have a dual sliding door option, we have electric step option, and we'll also have 360 degree camera standard, which is obviously reverse camera, yes. forward facing side, etc. Parking sensors, the air conditioning, cruise control, uh, mirror link entertainment system. Very so, good. You know, I mean, for, for someone making that transition over to EV, they're not uh, compromising. They're not compromising. And if you're if you're called a BBC market, you're butcher, baker, candlestick maker, yes. that's buying a van for both pleasure and for, for work. work. You've got the frills. Yeah, and their vans are becoming more like cars because people spend a lot of time in them now. Yeah whether it's working or at the weekend, and they expect a certain quality and a standard. And I think we both can remember vans in the past. It was a box. <laughs> yeah, a workhorse. Um, like, I mean, I've, I have a lot of friends of mine who are in the trade, um, from carpenters and roofers, electricians, etc. I just chatting to them, you know I mean? Like, one time they would have a van just for, for work. Right. They'd have a flash car or something home. For the weekends. For the weekends, and they're getting home, you know, not anymore. You know what I mean? The okay. van is actually just as nice to drive yeah, as the car yeah. used to be. They've got all the, the, the creature comforts in it, and they're kind of going, why do you need additional costs or expenses? So Don't need it. One, one, one size does all. Prices during the summer being built in the factory in August, getting towards before the end of the year, 24. Anything else that we'd like to talk about? Or what's, if this is the full, well, this isn't the full range from Axis no, now, just, just you'll have start. something else for next year? We'll have more product for next year. So any, thankfully- Any teasers at all there, Mark, as to- uh, <laughs> Are we looking commercial? Are we looking passenger? We're looking both. Okay. So we look at the passenger side for next year. Um, I won't hold you that now. Be, it's <laughs> going to be a smaller brother or sister to the Mifa okay. line. Great to hear. Seven okay. seater. Very uh, good. Smaller, smaller seven seater. Okay. Uh, that's that's on on uh, the plans for next year. Um, again, the Mifa is a cracking vehicle. Yes. You know, um, it is a big vehicle. Yeah. You know, so and luxury as well. It is a luxury vehicle, mm -hmm. and it's just. So something a little bit scale down a small bit. Okay, uh, good. So People are looking for year. seven seaters and, yeah. and uh, that electric. And then commercially, commercially we will have another van, slightly smaller than, than the seven. Right. I won't give you what the name is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking the number team is in there <laughs> somewhere. But. Yeah. So that's 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 on the cards for late next year as well. And then obviously then we'll have. Um, Something, More to come. Something else coming. It's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to be exciting. But we want to be, you know, as we're like we're recognised for for EV. Yes. Um, we display nothing only EV. Yes. Like stand products we show. You know, we introduce this before the next, you know, next year production's done. Big on the road. Um, and it's 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 all been good and positive. Very the good. Network has grown strong. We have dedicated dealers uh, that are passionate, and you know the, the joy of today for me personally is just to see the reaction on the dealers' face when we unveil a new product. And even in your opening speech, and I won't keep you much longer, the percentage of sales of battery electric within your fleet so year to date. Year to date, like we're looking here year to date, um, the national average this year, even though the market's up 32% in the UK, let's say, um, of that, only 5.2% of all registrations in yes. the market is EV. Wow. This year for ourselves, year yes. to date versus uh, last year, we're at 70%. Wow. This shows that you've hedged your bets in, in electric and it's really paying off now. Yes. Yeah. And that so range is expanding. Range and expanded, even though we know the energy prices is, is increasing. Yes. Like, I mean, so is fuel. Diesel prices still increasing. So there's still a massive saving Correct. on the fuel element of, of, of an EV. If you do it right. If you do it right. Yeah. Um, we have max intelligence board across all our EVs, and we've collected enough data now that we can prove that EVs work. Yeah, you know, it's not a new thing. It's it's been proven. It's been proven. Yeah. You take, for example, the Ashford media event we had. Yes. Of the ten EV vehicles that done the trip down to to, to Ashford Castle, in in, in mixture of three nine, three, nine and Eva everything. nines, back. The saving on that trip was over fifteen hundred. Uh, CO2 wow. on, on that trip just for the media cars because and the ability to be to track it as well you can quantify it yes yeah so we quantified the whole thing tracked it and all that the fuel saving on that trip was over 500 quid very good on the fuel saving alone yeah. so it's, it's still 
it's still less than half wow. of what to operate operate what what to fuel be. and that's based on, the, on on public charging prices. Perfect. You were working out your calculator there. That kilometer range is you weren't too far off. Three sixty three sixty four. Three sixty four. Mark Barr, thank you very much for your time and Derek, pleasure as always. Lovely. Thank you. Thanks, Bill.